Victor, thank you so much for that kind introduction, and it is great to be here with employees from Duke University. <laughs> this is a tremendous uh, opportunity to be here with you today, and I am humbled by the recognition that you bestow on me and my colleague and good friend Bob Casey with the Edwin Whitehead Award. I want to thank you also for your extraordinary work on behalf of the patients that you stand up for and represent that need the medical research that starts at the National Institute of Health. I had the opportunity to see Francis Collins here tonight and I can't think of a better person to head the National Institute of Health. <laughs> Medical research is the first step. It's the first step in innovation. It's the first step in breakthroughs. It's the first step in treatments. Biomedical research improves the way we treat disease, cancers, and other illnesses that patients suffer from. I'm proud uh, that what you represent and I think what we try to accomplish in Congress recognizes that there are patients that are waiting for the breakthroughs of tomorrow. That on the bench somewhere there's a product that some patient looks at and sees it as, to, as the answer to their medical condition, and for others, they're yet waiting for the game changer that might come out. Uh, let me say something to you that you already know. The NIH is a force multiplier in medical research. The public-private partnership leads the way to cutting-edge technologies, therapies, and cures to disease. I'm here tonight uh, as one of two to receive this award, but on behalf of the institution that I represent, to say that we're committed to driving research, to finding breakthroughs, to always remembering the human face behind the disease, if we keep focused on that, I will assure you the Congress will be there as a full-fledged partner with that research that starts first at the National Institute of Health, and it will have the support of the Congress of the United States. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. God bless each and every one of you.